So I am not new at all to fighting games. In fact, my whole entire channel is about fighting games. So if you enjoy fighting games, make sure you subscribe for more content. But I am essentially a beginner when it comes to Guilty Gear Strive. My friend got me into it and I was like, yo, what is this? So to see Guilty Gear Strive through a beginner's perspective, I thought it would make for a great video for all you other beginners out there that might also just be getting into Guilty Gear. Plus I thought it'd be fun for all you vets out there that have been playing Guilty Gear since day one to kind of see what does a beginner actually see and what do they feel when they get into Guilty Gear? This is kind of a review, but also just more of my thoughts and kind of like what I've been seeing and feeling as a new player. So let's get into it. Take it one step at a time. Like I said, my dudes, we're all about fighting games here. We have new videos Monday and Friday and we stream at least twice a week. So if you want more content, make sure to subscribe and turn that bell on so you know when we go live. So the first thing that I wanna mention and talk about about Guilty Gear Strive is I'm not gonna lie to you, at first I thought it was just another, you know, anime, choppy kind of feel fighting game and I was completely wrong. It looked really cool, the characters looked really interesting so I wanted to get into it, kinda of give it a shot and I was prepared for the worst but playing and getting into it, I was like, whoa, this is actually pretty smooth. Like I come from fighting games like Mortal Kombat, Injustice, and others, and those are mechanically smooth in the sense of your combos are just very fluid. You just do the combos and it kind of just strings itself together. Whereas on the visual side, some anime fighting games kind of look choppy. You know what I'm saying? Like in the middle of a combo, you might the frames might stop and you I, as a, that kind of fighter that just didn't, what didn't really appeal to me but again like i said that's what i thought guilty gear strive was going to be like and it's not those interruptions that you think on the surface might interrupt your gameplay like counter or punish or like whatever those don't actually really interrupt your gameplay at all and even the combos that you actually do with your specials and your normals feel very smooth like the inputs aren't as restrictive as some fighting games and they aren't as loose as others and they just go so well together it was just something that I wasn't really expecting when getting into it. Speaking of the mechanics of the game, on the surface, it seems like a really mechanically complex fighting game. What with the burst, the tension gauge, the Roman cancels, that was a whole new concept to me. On the surface, it seems pretty complex. But as you get more into it and you start playing, you go, oh, this is actually not that complex. Because I mean, every fighting game on the surface is pretty complex, right? I mean, for example, Mortal Kombat and Justice, we have our bars, our defense, our offensive bars. We have our breakaways. We have stuff like that. Fatal blows, crushing blows. Every, every fighting game has their thing. And Guilty Gear kind of just brought their thing in a different way, which is actually pretty cool. But again, from a beginner's perspective, I was like, whoa, this is a lot. I, what's a Roman cancel? Why would that be useful? What? Why am I using my tension gauge? What is it used for? So coming into it, it was, it's a lot. It's a lot. But as you play more and you get more used to it, you're like, oh, this is actually just very fluid. It's very nice. It's just part Part of the game is actually not as in depth. I mean, it is, but it's not as in depth as you might have first thought. I'm still so new to Guilty Gear, but I'm not gonna lie to you. For what I've played so far, the world is beautiful. The characters look amazing. The characters blow me away every single character they're just so vastly unique and they're just like very different from one another that i'm like well i want to try each of these characters because they're just that different and the world that just looks beautiful it's bright some fighting games can be very dark and like yeah whatever but this is really bright and fun and it just draws me in as a new player to like see more of the world play more of the characters because they're just that unique another thing that i wasn't really expecting when getting into it I thought a lot of characters would play the same and like, oh, they're, you know, they're not that different. Like, well, whatever, I, I'm way wrong. Speaking of the characters in the world, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not one to really appreciate art as much as I probably should, but this game has beautiful, beautiful art for every character, all the stages. I, I, you come to appreciate it more and more every single fight. You're just like, wow, that looks really cool. Wow, their eyes look awesome. Wow, that character's design is really cool. Whoa, this stage, is beautiful you know you, every single fight you just go into and go wow this is it just it just looks better and better every single time beautiful world a lot of people might not consider music art and i probably didn't either until getting into guilty gear and i was like whoa the music in this game is art every single fight every single character that has their theme that they bring to the game for their stages and their fights is just awesome it brings a whole new vibe to each single fight and you just can't wait to hear the next soundtrack you just you, you, you kind of want to download the playlist and go whoa i might go to the gym with this or i might take a walk with this i might just chill and listen to the guilty gears drive playlist most of the music isn't really even my kind of music but for some reason i love it one of the biggest worries that a beginner might have when getting into guilty gears drive is like a beginner in any fighting game you're kind of worried that you're already falling behind that you just can't keep up that you're going to be bottom tier that you're just going to be trash at the game so why even play 
play. But what's really cool about Guilty Gear is they make it really easy and fun to actually be a beginner and learn all the mechanics very easily. They have all their tutorials, their guides, their combo recipes, they have their dojo, they have so many ways to make it easy to be a beginner and actually get into it and pick it up pretty fast. I mean, to be fair, if you have a background in any fighting games at all, you're probably gonna pick it up pretty fast anyways, but they just make it that much easier. Like I picked it up in about a week or so with just you know, minimal practice. And to be fair, I'm, I'm pretty good so far. I'm on floor seven. Not to toot my own horn here, but I, as a beginner, I feel like that's pretty good. But see, that's what I'm saying is Guilty Gear actually makes it easy to be a beginner, so when you come into it fresh, you're like, you know what? I can do this, because the game allows you to have all the tools that you need to become good. I just love so far the way that every character plays. The combos, the moveset, the supers, the gauges, they just all feel so good to pull off. It's just so satisfying. Some fighting games, they can be satisfying, sure, but some of them are like, eh, kind of bland, like whatever. Guilty Gear's Drive is a very satisfying combo system that you just can't wait to figure out more. You can't wait to pull off more. And when, when you do, mwah. But see, that's what I'm saying. Guilty Gear is different, but also familiar. Like, even if you don't play other fighting games, Guilty Gear makes it easy to come on in, be beginner, as a fresh take, you can come in and start to get practice in and just enjoy it. But if you have a background in other fighting games, such as most of us probably do if you're watching this video, it makes it pretty easy to come on into the game. Because again, it's different, but also familiar. Like you have your combos, you have your specials, your cancels, your normal, but then you also have other things you might need to get used to, like I did, kind of like your burst, your roman cancels, your tension gauge, and yeah, some of the timing on the combos you might need to get used to for a second. But at the end of the day, it's familiar enough that you want to come in and really enjoy it, but also different enough that it makes it fun to try it. It's actually a good challenge. To be honest, my overall verdict of Guilty Gear Strive is it's an amazing fighting game that I'm actually surprised is not bigger because of how good it actually is. Like I could bicker and you know find the small things that annoy me or like I might not like about the game, sure. But that's any fighting game, that's any game really. I'm actually surprised I did not even hear of Guilty Gear before I started playing Guilty Gear Strive. I'm surprised more people don't talk about it. I'm surprised more people don't play it. I'll tell you right now, if you're watching this video and you haven't played Guilty Gear Strive, I would absolutely recommend it without question. If you're new like me, I wanna know down below what do you think of the game so far? Do you agree with my points? Do you not agree? Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you're a vet at Guilty Gear Strive, let me know down below what did you think of a beginner's perspective did I make some good points? Am I missing something? Let me know down below. This was Guilty Gear Strive from a beginner's perspective. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and click into this video next. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take it one step at a time.